Yeah, CES is considered the most influential technology event of the year. It's global. Last year's Omicron variant led to a lot of no-shows, but this year more than 100,000 people are expected to explore more than 2.5 million square feet of exhibit space. From robots you can run with. Spot is truly beyond what we could have imagined. To TVs that turn just because, I guess. We've got 3,200 exhibitors across more than 2 million net square feet of exhibit space, 100,000 of technology's biggest fans are in Las Vegas this week to see the latest and greatest in consumer technology. Sort of one unifying theme, and that's technology that is innovating to solve some of the world's biggest challenges. So we're seeing a lot in the way of digital health, connected mobility, there's a huge startup scene, uh, smart homes, AR, VR, you name it, it's all on the show floor this week at CES. I often tell people these are the technology devices that you're gonna rely on about five years from now. One success example would be Ring Doorbell, which was presented on an unglamorous folding table in 2015. Of course, sold to Seattle's Amazon for a billion dollars, and that's after Shark Tank said no thank you. So the next big thing could be there. That's exactly right. The Impossible Whopper was also discovered by Burger King at CES as a fun fact. There are upwards of a couple dozen companies from Washington State there. You've seen a lot of amazing technology. Is there anything that stopped you in your tracks already? I saw some uh, earbuds that can translate into 40 different languages. You wear one, the person you're talking to wears one. And that, you know, CES has 150 different countries represented here. So the global nature just was really exciting to me about that. You know, the serendipity is incredible. You never know what billion dollar deal is around the corner. And so we are just thrilled to be back in person, uh, rocking and rolling this week in Las Vegas.